why are you doing everything right and what you are creating is actually showing up for you. This is one of the most important things that you actually need to do when you are consciously creating anything in your life. And we're going to talk about why it's important today and what you need to be saying to make sure that you're getting what you want. This is Susie, your beautiful millionaire swan queen. Welcome back to the garden of my beautiful duckling. Subscribe, smash the like button, share my video. I will love you forever. I am the best life coach with a 99.6% success rate in getting people back together with the love of their life. It's not the only thing I do, but it is what I specialize in. If you would be interested in working with me one-on-one -on -one or joining my paid Facebook group, where it is the only place I go live, please check Check out the links in the description below. So why do you need to ask yourself, what are you doing right? Why are you seeing proof? What is the movement that you're seeing? Because when you are focused on consciously changing your life, you need to see physical proof to believe that whatever is going on in your reality is actually physically changing. So if I am wanting to create a $10,000 a month income, I would have to say, what am I doing right that I easily create $10,000 a month in an income? And why am I seeing proof? I see proof that I make $10,000 a month. Those deposits are proof that I make $10,000 a month. So if I'm seeing deposits in my bank account, I have concrete proof that I'm making that much money and then I'm going to believe I'm making that much money because you are consciously creating something. So you are basically telling a lie until it becomes true so that you see it's true and you now believe it because the definition of the word belief and believe is assuming something to be true. So you would assume it because you saw it. You're manifesting your specific person and you are saying your phrases, questions, and statements. And then you're ending it with, but I'm not seeing movement, but we're in no contact but he is still with the third party, but she's telling me she doesn't want a relationship. This is your assumption. You assume they don't want to be in a relationship with you. So you are affirming what you believe and that is they don't want you. You have to be slightly delusional. So you have to be of the status, of course they want me. Of course they want me. Now show me proof. Now show me that things are changing. Now show me. I live in Missouri. It is the show me state. So show me things are changing. Because you must ask for what you want. So the step one, you are 100% clear on what you want. What exactly do you want? You want to be happily married. So you have a specific person in mind. You would sit there and say, I want to be happily married to this person. I know that I can possibly marry this person. I know that things can work to my advantage and that I can magically marry them. But now my words are creating that marriage. See what I'm doing? So show me that my words are creating this marriage. Show me that this person is wanting to communicate with me. Show me this person wants to go out on a date with me. Because once you get that first text message, you have a little more confidence. And then you get the second text message that says, let's go out for dinner. You even have more confidence. You sit down with dinner and you are talking to them for two or three hours over dinner. You have even more confidence. And what you're doing by asking for proof is no different than what we do when we order from Amazon. So we ordered wet wipes from Amazon because they were on sale on Amazon. So we go on Amazon, which is an action, and we go to the wet ones. We put it in the cart. We go to the cart. We hit buy now. 
Amazon tells us the price, we complete our order. Then what happens? Amazon sends us an email that says your order has been processed and they give you a description of what you've ordered. And we will then send you an email once your item has shipped. So then we get an email that our item has been shipped. So now that our item has been shipped, we know that it's in transit and Amazon even gives us an approximate date as to when the item's gonna be here. So we ordered the wet wipes on a Monday, they shipped on Tuesday and they were here on Wednesday. It's pretty fast, but Amazon gave us proof of our order, proof of shipping and a time frame. And we're not doing that when we're manifesting. We're not saying, I need proof that this is working. I need proof that this is going to be delivered to me. We assume it from any online item that we purchase that we're going to get an email and we all say it. Um, did you get anybody else to buy from this online place before? I never got a confirmation email, but the money did come out of my bank account. I saw a thing today where somebody said, hey, I purchased this from your website, but I never got an email. And the person responded uh, and told them to please email this person, this information, and they would get it straightened out. So when we can't find something, we ask for help. So asking for help, give me a sign that this is working. So you ask for a sign of a pink elephant. You see a pink elephant and you go, well, is that really a sign or is it what I'm focusing on? Is that a sign or is that what I'm focusing on? Well, show me another pink elephant if it's really a sign. So now you see two pink elephants and you're still like, I'm not sure that this is a sign. Think about what you're doing. You are asking for the sign and then you're saying, I don't know if it really is a sign. So you ask for a different sign. Uh, let's ask for a purple car to drive by. And there's this purple challenger that drives by you because I have one that drives by me. Oh, well, that's just, you know, it always drives by me. That's not a sign. I need a different purple car. That's car, that elephant. It was proof, but you discounted it. It was telling you, yes, this is working, but you were questioning it. So when you are consciously creating, asking for proof is so that you can see that the situation is training, changing, and because it's changing, you are getting what you desire. So your thoughts, your words, your feelings, your emotions are all lined up with, show me this is working, show me. When I first said this, because I started this on YouTube over two and a half years ago, when I started my channel, I said, you had to say manifesting was working. And people would say, Susie, I'm manifesting. Why would I say it's working? Now it's all over the place, easily, effortlessly. I get what I desire. It magically shows up. We actually literally expect it to fall out of the sky without an email regarding when it's going to be shipped. But then we need to sit there and think about what that proof is. And because we have proof coming in, we have confidence and we know this is working. I had a client who was going to see her specific person and the specific person said, well, I can't do it tonight. I can't do it tonight. I can't do it tonight. The next night, I can't do it. The next, and she finally said, what do I do? And I'm like, you have to expect him to show up. And be like, isn't it wonderful he shows up? I'm not using the exact words that I said to her, the client. That night, the client showed the client's person showed up. They had a wonderful evening together. It gave her proof that this worked. And she's like, oh my God, I can't believe this actually worked. Think about what we're actually saying. I don't believe this works. So I assume it's true that manifesting doesn't work. 
I assume it's true that nothing is changing. When you start asking for proof and you affirm more that manifesting is working, you don't need to affirm as much about whatever it is you're creating. So I have another client in two and a half weeks, she changed her relationship around. She would literally set a timer and every hour she would say, this is working, I'm seeing proof. Then three times a day, she would say her phrases, questions, and statements. She was affirming every hour she saw proof, but she was only saying her phrases three times a day. And two and a half weeks, it turned around. Techniques are there to help you to feel better and to stay in the emotion of, I have it. So if you have it, you still need to say, it's knocking on my door because Amazon's going to knock on your door. You ordered pizza. You went online and you ordered pizza from Domino's. We did this a couple of times when I was sick and we put a little note in there, no contact delivery so that I didn't get anybody else sick. So we asked them to put the pizza down and knock on the door. We specifically said, set the pizza down, knock on the door. Then they walked away and we picked, opened up the door and picked up the pizza. Think about what we did. We sent out a specific order and that order was delivered with a knock. How do I know the pizza set down if I don't hear the knock? So you want your specific person to show up. They're knocking on your door. They're asking you to give them a second chance or a third chance or a fourth chance, whatever chance this is on your list. So you're saying, show me they're knocking on my door. Show me that they want a relationship with me. Simple little things that can drastically change your life for the better. I love you guys. Have an absolutely positively amazing day. And as always, leave me a comment and let me know how I am drastically changing your life for the better.